I'm Trekker with uh, Trekker Outdoors. I'm Dave with Blackthorn USA. The product we want to talk to you today about is uh, the Blackthorn Bottle. So Dave, what is the Blackthorn Bottle? Well, the Blackthorn Bottle is a new product that we uh, have had designed and it's been a few months in the making and we have just received that and are ready to introduce them to the public. Okay. Now, I see a lot of Nalgene bottles here and they kind of you know, people are going to draw similarities with the Nalgene bottle. What's so great about the Nalgene bottle that why a lot of outdoorsmen use them? Well, everybody's familiar with Nalgene bottles. We, uh, we, we use these, obviously, for water. Uh, everybody loves them. They're very durable. They're 32 ounce, practically indestructible. Yeah. We have our version of the Nalgene bottle, and we have, we've had great success with them. Um, like everything else, they do have some limitations, and one of the biggest limitations with a Nalgene or any plastic bottle is you can't throw it in the fire. Absolutely. Now, a lot of people even store things inside here, like if you want to keep like your survival kit when you're not storing water in there. Oh, sure. Is that a good sure. purpose for that? Yeah. Yeah, for uh, for storage, uh, a lot of people will store things in there. In fact, we, we, we offer a, a survival kit, kit built into a, a Nalgene bottle, but it's very common for people to store things in them uh, it's just just for saving space until they need the, the bottle to carry their water. Right. Now, recent years, you know, bladders have become very popular, the hydration bladders, and a lot of people, including myself, do carry, you know, maybe in their pack a bladder. Why is it so important to have a hard container, though, and especially a stainless steel container? Well, if this is in your pack, and, you know, you've been hiking all day long, you know, you do the rucksack dump, you know, you throw it down on the ground. If if your bladder gets smashed under your you know, 30, 60, 80 pound ruck, you know, it's going to rupture and everything's going to get wet. And, uh, you know, at the very least, you're going to lose your, your fluids. Uh, this is going to offer you more durability. You can smash these pretty hard without, without shattering them. Absolutely. I've actually had my drink tube freeze up on me on a, on a bladder as well, too. So yeah. that there is that as well. Um, so the stainless steel bottle, um, what, what what advantages do I have of a stainless steel bottle as opposed to, uh, say, these are made out of Lexan? Well, metal bottles in general are they're going to be more durable. You know, if you if you dent a metal bottle, a lot of times you can open it up, you know, poke a wooden dowel in there, and knock the dent right back out, and you're back in business. The main advantages to a metal bottle is hey, you can throw this thing in a fire. Now that's 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 the real advantage to a metal bottle, M minus the lid, of course. Right, yeah, the lid's not going to be fireproof, but um, yeah, that's the main advantage with a metal bottle is you can throw it in the fire and you can you can cook in it, you can purify your water in it, you know, by boiling, and and there's a lot of good metal bottles out there, but you know, Clean Canteen, for instance, this fantastic bottle, good brand, everybody knows this, and a lot of these are double wall, a double wall metal bottle, you can't throw that in the fire because right. it's going to explode. Like my hydro flask here, that's double wall. Sure, that's another great example. Um, the other thing with these is, uh, this is like a 20 ounce, I believe, 20, 27 ounces, I guess. And then I think they make like a 40 ounce. Sure. The drawback to that is every water purification tablet I've ever seen in my life is made for 32 ounces. Right, for one standard quarter. Right? So, if you're dropping a water tablet in this, it's going to be too much. And it may not kill you, but you don't need it, and at the very least, you're going to have that flavor. You know, those tablets taste funky anyway. And then if it's 40 ounce, you know, then you got to start doing some math and cutting tablets in half, and, you know, that, it's an inconvenience, and sure. at the very, you know, very least, it's, you know, at the you know, very least, it's an inconvenience, and it could possibly be dangerous if you didn't get enough in there. Uh, so that's a drawback for, you know, the, the ones that aren't 32 ounce. You know, here's another example. Right. And I see this one has a narrow, kind of a narrow um, mouth on it. What are the main advantages of having a wide mouth uh, stainless steel bottle? Well, the wide mouth, you know, this one's this one's kind of a middle of the road. I mean, there's some sure. that are even smaller. Real small. The wide mouth bottles, the, 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 the reason that we prefer those is just for ease, ease of access. You know, you open up something like this. You've got this wide mouth. You can drop in ice cubes. You know, you could, you could put your ramen noodles in there and cook it if you had to. Sure. You've got enough room. You can get a spoon in there, dig it out. It's right. also easy to see. 
you know, and that's, you know, most people, you know, they shake their bottle, they know they've got some water in there. Right. But if you're trying to measure, you know, you know, 16 ounces out for your, you know, mountain house or something, you know, you can look in there and go, okay, that's, that's about half a bottle. Right. You know, because these obviously they don't have, you know, they don't have the scale. No you know, you can't, right. uh, you can't see. It's probably a lot easier piece. to clean being the wide mouth too. You can actually get. Oh yeah, yeah. It's easy to get a there. brush in there. Sure. Um, yeah, the the wide mouth, the wide mouth is important. You know, that's pretty much the standard, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that a lot of people are just used to the Nalgene style right. of bottle. What I found too with the the narrow, the wide as opposed to the narrow. So you're trying to fill it in the creek or something like that. Is it's a whole whole lot easier, you know, with the wide mouth if you're trying to fill it. Yeah, you know, you know that's true. I, I hear that mentioned a lot, and it's true. But you pretty much have to have two containers at that point. Absolutely. You know, if your if your pool's so shallow that you have to fill it like this, that water's going to run in easier than if the neck was higher. Right. But you're only going to get that much water, so you yeah. about to have to pour it into something else. But there is that, you know, if uh, you know if that's all you've got, it definitely does make it easier than, than using some of the, the narrow mouth bottles. And one other thing I'll mention about this one, since we, we kind of had this out, talking about the small mouth, is this particular bottle is also aluminum. So it's not even stainless. And, you know, you can see it's, I've had it around a long time. It's part of my part of my everyday carry bag. And uh, it, it, it won't be any longer. Right. <laughs> but, but I've been dragging this around for a long time because it was, you know, it was a metal bottle. But it's aluminum, and one thing to keep in mind with aluminum bottles is you have a liner. Right. There's a lining inside because aluminum oxidizes. So, uh, you know, the, our stainless steel bottles don't have that liner, so they're right. not going to not going to retain any taste. You, you know what I always remember about the old aluminum bottles is remember the GI canteens, the old before oh, yeah. they had the plastic ones. Oh, yeah. They get that taste in them, and you just never got that out of there. They yeah, that, well, I think that military taste kind of comes with with everything. Comes with everything. <laughs> but but yeah, you know the uh, the stainless steel, uh, it's not going to not going to hold any odors, not going to hold any taste. Uh, there's no lining, obviously. There's no BPA. Right. Um, BPA is pretty much gone in everything now, but some of the some of the cheaper aluminum bottles that's you know a concern of some people is whether or not that liner has that you know that, that BPA some of that cooking off when you're some of that liner cooking off in there absolutely right, right. Um, so obviously the Blackthorn bottle is not the first wide mouth 32 ounce stainless steel bottle to hit the market what is different about the Blackthorn bottle that sets it apart from any of the other bottles well there's some good bottles out there. There's some good. There's some good stainless steel bottles out there that have a lot of the advantages that we've talked about already. But we've made some improvements with this one. Like I said, we we had this designed, and you know it's 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 made in China. And, you know every 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 aluminum stainless bottle. Every you know, pretty much everything you're seeing on this table is made in China. Yeah, so I mean, I, you're not going to get around that hardly. Uh, not sure about Nalgene. Eh, actually, it's kind of hit but, and miss with some of the Nalgene products. I think. But yeah, you know, there's 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 nobody in this country that's going to make these. So it's made in China, but we uh, you know we designed it. We had to make it to our specs, and with that we had the latitude to make it exactly what we wanted in a metal bottle. And what we wanted in a metal bottle, beyond just being a wide mouth, 32 ounce stainless bottle, was we wanted this thing to fit everything that fit those bottles. Because these are common, you know. There's there's some other bottles out there, and I've looked at them in the past, you know, for my own use, and thought, you know, that's a nice bottle. I'd like to have it, but it doesn't fit the stuff that I that I use. And by the stuff that I use, I mean stuff like, you know, this is for my water filter, mm -hmm. and it's designed to screw right onto an algae bottle. Well, you know, some bottles like the Clean Canteen, obviously, it, it doesn't screw on there. The uh, you know the threads they're just threads they're just different. not the same, and then of course you know smaller bottles they won't work. Right. But we wanted them to fit our bottles because this is the water filter that I use. Right. And this is something Dave and I've been talking about for years when we even got the idea of you know coming together Trucker Outdoors and, and Blackthorn USA to to produce this bottle is that why doesn't somebody make a bottle a wide mouth bottle that's compatible with all these other products that. You know, we're, we're using the word Nalgene, but it's pretty much 63 millimeter, you know, the standard threads that, that's used. Um, 
Hydro Flask uses it, Camelback uses it, and, and especially Nalgene, but there's just all these aftermarket products out there that you can't, if you have a proprietary bottle, you can't make use of. Right, right. Yeah, and that's exactly it. You know, there's, you know, say, say this bottle, for instance, this lid fits this bottle. Mm -hmm. This lid won't fit any of these other bottles, right. any of the 63 millimeters. If you're out there in the wild and you, you know, you break this, how do you carry it at that point? Well, pretty much like this. Yeah, you got to carry you're it done. in, you know, carry yeah. it in your hand or, you know, <clears throat> you melt a lid, something like that. On these proprietary lids, you have to go get a replacement cap. With right. our bottles, if you melt this lid that it comes with, shell it out some way or another, any lid, you know, you got an old analogy and bottle laying around, pop the lid off, it'll screw right onto ours. Exactly. And these things, I mean, I've walked into even like REI store and they're maybe about, what, maybe three, four bucks? Oh, yeah, that? yeah. These things are like, yeah, two, three dollars for a, you know, a replacement lid. You know, some of these other ones, you know, are, you know, seven, eight, you know, right, twelve dollars maybe. I mean, exactly. you know, depending on what they are. And you can even customize your lid too. Like if, you know, I'm using on my bottle here, I'm using the Hydro Flask, flask lid because I kind of like the pop top on it. Or if, you know, if you like the sippy cup design, you know, where it's got the pop-up with the straw, those all pretty much work with right. our bottle. This one here, this is for the, uh, the Sawyer water filters. It's the pop-open kind of like that. And, uh, you know, it's got the tube inside. You can put a water filter right in your bottle if you want. Right. So, so yeah, there's a lot of different lids. And then also, uh, you know, some water filters don't thread on. They just sit in. Yeah, just kind of and, a paper fit. Right, you know, that'll fit right down in our bottles as, uh, as well. And... You know, if you don't have if, if you don't have something like this, you need something like this because that's just you, know, you plug your water you know your water filter tube in that and you pump away. You don't have to try yep. to hold this with your go feet straight or, into the, yeah <laughs> go straight into the bottle exactly. Right. You're not trying to the tube pops out. I've had that happen before. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. And you know what I like about the reason why we kind of went with this design of, of being able to make it compatible with a, a, a Nalgene style bottle, uh, not only the threads but the overall dimensions. If it's all the pouches. You know, if, a lot of people already have these kind of pouches, uh, like the Condor one here. Yeah, yeah. They've got something like that, or any kind of any kind of holders you have for it, it'll all fit inside there just fine. Yeah, if you've got a Condor or a Max Pad or something like that, it fits in there like it was made for it. And literally, it was pretty much made for it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is it's, made for that it's, size. It's designed for for this size bottle. Right. Um, the other thing, you know, you're talking about sizing is. Is these nesting cups? You know, obviously, this one's seen a lot of use, but uh, but you know, it fits it fits Nalgene. Actually, this one, yeah, this is the one that doesn't fit Nalgene. Fits Pathfinder. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that uh, the Oli Camp there. Oh yeah, the, that one right here. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. This is this one here. This fits Nalgene. It also fits our bottle. I mean, there's. Just a tiny little bit of wiggle in there, not enough to drive you nuts walking down the trail. Um, so this is like the uh, uh, Olicamp brand. Um, so this one that I picked up a second ago, this is actually one that I've had around for, you know, 100 years, and it does not fit Nalgene. I mean, it just, it's not going to go in there. Right. It's just a tiny bit too small. Interestingly enough, it will fit our bottle. So if you happen to have one of these old cups that doesn't fit your bottles right check it out with ours it just might fit hmm. and i wish i knew what brand this was but it just it's not marked it's yeah it's not the gsi glacier or any yeah. of those yeah yeah but anything any cup that's going to nest with uh with a nalgene is going to nest with ours and uh you may get lucky and find uh ones that don't work with your nalgene right. that work with ours you know where i could see a, 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 i've always thought a good use for our, our bottle the black form bottle is because like dave pointed out is you got to have uh, a stainless steel bottle so that you can heat water in. Um, you know, having a cup where if you're doing this like 12, 16 ounces at a time, this isn't going to cut it if you're, if you, you know, you're heating up, you're sterilizing water for survival purposes. Oh, sure. You know, so if you had, let's say you have one of these plastic bottles and one of these, you can, you know, you can put your contaminated water in here, and then once you purify it, put it in here and just kind of keep that system going. Because I know a lot of people on their packs, they like to carry two bottles. That's the way so I do it. yeah, that's the way I do it. I usually have two bottles. Of course, now you can have two bottles that have the same lid. Um, you know, in the past, a lot of people haven't really wanted a, a stainless bottle. Weight, weight was kind of a concern as far as going with this. 
Um, so w what did we come up with is the difference on this? I think it was... Well, a, a, a standard Nalgene bottle like this is uh, uh, 6.3 ounces. Our bottle is 7 ounces. So you've got... You know, Less than an ounce. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's tenths of an ounce difference. Right. And, and 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 don't let that you know don't let that mislead you. You know these things are still they're they're 18 eight stainless. They're very strong. I mean, you can push a dent into them a little bit, but it's you know it pops pops right back out. Right. It's going to be very hard to you know to destroy one of these unless you're trying to. Right. Right. Okay. Um. So yeah, we talked about being 18 eight stainless. It's dishwasher safe. Uh, if you want right, to, you can right. put it in the dishwasher, clean it. It's a lot easier to clean it. Um, is there anything we don't like about our bottle? Well, you know, hindsight, hindsight being what it is, there's a couple of a couple of things that that, that I would change if I had to do it again. Um, one is, I mentioned earlier that, that these don't have a scale on them. Right. But I also mentioned that you can see on the inside easily. So in the future... It might be it might be handy to have a scale etched on the inside, like sure. the logo is etched on the outside, because it's it's you know it's quite easy to see down in there. So I think that might be you know that might be something that uh, you know that we'd do differently if we had to do it again. Right. Um, as far as something that that I'm not particularly fond of, and you know it's not a deal breaker with me, but the fact of the matter is is we designed these bottles, and they came with a lid similar to this and between prototyping the bottles and lids and production they changed the mold on these lids and what they did was they improved them to some extent right unlike some of the bottles out there you know some of the bottles will have just they have just a gasket in here just a flat gasket mm -hmm. all the way across and people have found that when you screw them onto this you know semi sharp lip that that gasket will bow and pop down pushes into the out, bottle yeah. and then then pushes the thing it leaves. in or pushes it out right right so so what we came up with was this insert right here that fits down in the neck of the bottle and it prevents the gasket from from having anywhere to go so it, it, it won't leak right with that they made this strap thicker wider and more robust which is a good thing as well the downside is is this diameter is a little bit bigger than I would prefer it to be. Right, it's it, probably designed to fit around this bottle here. Well, it's it's probably more that diameter. Right. I haven't actually tried one of these on those, but I'm guessing that it's going to fit on there fairly well. Um, the downside is, is if you open this and flip it around, it will fall, it will fall off of there. Now, like I said, that's not a deal breaker for me because most of the time, if I'm using this thing, you know, I unscrew it. I'm kind of in the habit of folding the lid back like this, sure, and, and drinking, and then you know folding it back. Exactly. If uh, if I'm going to use it in the fire, then obviously I'm taking this off anyway. Exactly. And you know it comes off comes off easy. You don't have right. to fight it off like you would on. You or know, at least with this, others. you don't need like an Allen wrench to take it off or something. Some of oh, the yeah, ones yeah, that yeah. had the cord lock on it. Well, you know, yeah. years ago. Uh, uh, Guyot or Guyot or however you right. pronounce that. They they had a bottle similar to these, uh, and everybody loved them. And you know it was a 32 ounce single wall. And I've heard various stories. I don't know if they went out of business or quit making them or right. what you happened. Right, you just can't find them anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they 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 they've kind of dried up. And if you find them now, they're they're almost prohibitively expensive. But the thing about those is they had uh, they had a, a cord around them, and you had to have a little Allen wrench to take that loose. Right. Well, I mean, I've got small parts that I carry around with me, but, you know, the smaller it is, the easier it is to lose. Sure. So, uh, so you know, like I said, that's 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 one thing, and that's really the only thing that we're not yeah. real pleased about. Right. But, uh, but there again, I don't think it's going to, you know, I, I don't think it's something that I'm going to even, you know, think yeah. about down the road, I think, once I get used to it. Well, and a lot of wide mouth bottles, you know, they don't even, there's no retainer on the lid whatsoever. Uh, oh, sure, you know, a lot of them sure. don't have, and you know, like what I've done with my bottles here is I, I use. I'm pretty fond of this hydro flask lid, mm -hmm. and you can also do something similar like with this, where I've done with just paracord. Right, right. You know. Yeah, I saw that, and, and you know, there's a lot of people that don't 
you know, that, that, that don't like this, you know, they'll sure. cut them off. I mean, even if they just, even if they have no retention at all. Right. In fact, uh, oh yeah, you've got one right there that you've done that too. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people will snip them right off and just go with the lid. Yeah, absolutely. So if that, you know, if, it, if that was a deal breaker for you, didn't you really like it, you know, you don't like having the loop on there, you can always cut it off. But uh, it is kind of backward compatible with these bottles, you know, kind of fits around the shoulder there. Uh, but yeah, that, yeah. In fact, you know, you, mentioning this bottle, you can you can see the diameter of this compared to the diameter of, of our bottle. Right. You know, it's much much thicker. And yeah. I guess you know, one other thing with that is, you know, I've seen people that'll put a carabiner on this sure. and hang it. And while I personally don't really prefer that kind of carry, you know, I've seen a lot of people that do that. And if they're going to do that, I have to think that this is going to be less likely to hold up than this. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this thing. Yeah. You know, you could, you could probably hang on yeah. that with your body weight. Well, these will even pop over the top if you want them to, where oh, that really? one will not. Oh, yeah, this one would. Yeah. This one, I could probably get it to pop over the top. Yeah. I don't want to ruin your bottle there, though. But yeah, for your yeah, lid. Yeah, I just had to buy this so, thing the other day. Yeah. But it, add to my collection of plastic. Yeah, so, I mean, at the end of the day, that that's really the big selling factor, I think, um, on our, our bottle, the Blackthorn bottle, is you can use this lid, and it's it's an inexpensive lid that you right. can pick up anywhere. Right, right. Um, and if you do carry, like if you carry two bottles, you know, two dissimilar bottles, you can have the same lid system fit on them. Um, so where can I get a Blackthorn bottle? Well, you know, you can get them from us, obviously. I mean, we, we're, we're Blackthorn USA, so we've got the bottles, but uh, also with you guys at right. Trekker, Trekker Outdoors. TrekkerOutdoors.net, we're going to have them. Um, you know, there's 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 liable to be other outlets to get them as well. Right. You know, we we are uh, looking for wholesalers. If you're a wholesaler, please contact us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do get in touch. We uh, we've uh, we've got a lot of them. We're pretty proud of them. Yeah. And uh, we uh, we hope to get them out there. We think people are going to really like them. There's, I, I I think there's been a I think there's been a, a spot in the market for these that just hasn't been filled yet. Right. And that's. That's really, uh, really why we got on this. Uh, thinking that one, we could make it better than what we had access to, and then, you know, being in this business, there's just a lot of people that want these features, and we couldn't find them. Right, exactly. Everything we were coming up with was proprietary lid, proprietary storage system. Um, you know, just didn't it didn't fit with all the gear out there that we already had, because I can tell you, even from uh, as a Boy Scout, I was using these bottles a long time ago. Back before they were BPA free, you know. So, uh, oh yeah, yeah. But you know, so I've I've got a, a bunch of the most everybody I know they've at least got several of those bottles around. So we thought all this equipment's already out there. So Dave, the big question is, what does it cost? Well, these are right in there with every other metal bottle. Um, you know, you look around at Clean Canteen, these other brands. You know, they're all going for you know, 22, 29, somewhere in that range. There, there's some out there that are more expensive, of course. But generally speaking, you know, around 25 bucks. So we're pricing ours right in there at uh, twenty-four ninety-five. Right. Yeah, and you know, at, at that price point, I think, shoot, why not buy two? You know, it's it's uh, it's cheap enough if you wanted to run. Instead of having, you know, a lot of people will opt for a Nalgene bottle just because they can get it for about half that cost or so. Um, yeah, well, see, so this almost makes sense. You know, this still has price on it. You know, it's twelve bucks. Oh sure. Yeah. So, you know, like you said, double the money. Double the money you get this one with. All the capabilities of this one. Right. I mean, there, you know, there's a couple things this isn't going to do that this will do. If you get the light, can't see through that one. Yeah. If yeah. you get the light that goes on the inside, yeah, got one of those. You, you can't use this for a lantern. Well, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and then also the scale. We couldn't quite right. get the, aluminum, the the stainless steel thin enough to where you could, you know, <laughs> you could use it as a lantern. But right. Yeah. It's, it's it's made in China, but it's not, you know, it's not that bad. Right. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, these bottles. Um, you know the value, the value for 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 your dollar. I think I think people are going to find that uh, that it's definitely there. And with that said, let me talk about warranty. Um, I, you know I can't uh, I can't talk to everybody's warranty on these, but uh, we are going to warranty these things out. If, if 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 you get one of these and find a defect, send it back. We Absolutely. will send you another one because you know we you know we designed them, we had them made the way we wanted them. We think you're going to like them, and uh, you know we want them to be right. So if uh, if anybody should happen to find one that isn't right, send it back. Yeah, absolutely. If you have a manufacturing defect with it, which uh, you know the uh, 
the company we did work with in China, you know, like Dave said, we did a lot of back and forth prototyping with them and everything. A uh, little bit of language barrier at, at, at points, but the, the thing we really liked about them was their quality control, is they're able to effectively reproduce the same thing, you know, bottle 100, bottle 1000, bottle 2000, bottle 3000, and on, you know. Seems like they're able to uh, reliably keep the quality up. Yeah, what uh, what was it? We ended up sending sending back and forth four or five bottles before yeah. it was done. Yeah, it was kind of a it's been a back and forth process for quite some time. You yeah. know, getting this thing prototyped the way we wanted it. And it wasn't that we sent them back because they were wrong so much as they just wanted to make sure that they were right. So they'd send us a sample. We'd have to verify it was what we wanted, and then you know let them know. So that uh, that was a lot of it. And then, of course, language barrier. Oh, uh, of course, yeah. <laughs> uh, to be fair, they speak better English than, than I speak Chinese. So. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's uh, that's 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 the Blackthorn bottle. That's 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 our new product. Yeah. So in in summary, let's go ahead and wrap up and, and say, you know, just down and dirty. What, what are the features of this bottle, and why should someone have that in their pack as opposed to maybe some of these other wide mouth products? Well, it's got our logo on it. Well, absolutely, yeah. Um, well, the features, uh, features it's wide mouth, it's 18-8 uh, stainless steel, it's durable. Uh, most of the stainless bottles you find are 18-8, so it's, you know, it's a familiar familiar standard. Um, 32 ounces, and that's for the shoulder. If you fill it all the way to the top, it will be a little bit more, uh, and that's pretty much standard with all these as well. You right. can see the scale goes 32 at the shoulder. Um, uh, no lining, won't uh, won't hold any taste or anything like that. It's single wall, you can throw it right in the fire. Lids, lids are easily replaceable because they're 63 millimeter threads, which is pretty much the standard amongst you know most of the bottles. There there are a few exceptions, there are some. but but most of the wide mouth yeah. bottles, all the common ones are, yeah. are that thread. We we found very few things that don't work with it. That if if they're designed to work with these kind of bottles, it it mostly uh, always works with ours. Right, right. Um, and then nesting, you know, nest, you know, anything that nests with, you know, a Nalgene style bottle is going to nest with ours. Uh, if you've got carriers and stuff already set up for that style bottle, then uh, they're going to be set up for this one. It's going to be a matter of pulling out your old one, putting in your brand new shiny one. Absolutely. And uh, and you'll be right in business. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the features. That's uh, that's what we like about them, and that's that's why we why we brought them in. We're trying to trying to fill that void that we, uh, we we saw was there. Absolutely. Okay, so once again, I'm Philip with uh, Trucker Outdoors. Be sure to visit us at uh, truckeroutdoors.net or Dave with Blackthorn USA, uh, blackthornusa.com. Uh, uh, feel free to feel free to stop over. We'll have these on the site uh, right away, and we'll have all the specifications and everything listed there. So if you have questions, you can check that out. And if you want to buy you a bunch of them, you can you can do that too. Yeah, they make great great Christmas presents. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Christmas presents, Valentine's Day. What's, sure. what's coming up next? Uh, Halloween presents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for your time, and we appreciate your comments. Well, I should say constructive comments. Please keep your comments either positive or negative about our bottle. Um, constructive. We we enjoy. Uh, we'll read them. Good, bad, whatever. All right. Thank you. Thank you.